thousands of people witnessed and hundreds helped to build an environmentally sensitive structure. The results from earthquake testing of natural building materials will be used by researchers and builders all over the world. I'd say we've had quite an impact. The Stanley Park structure was built by Ian, Steve, and hundreds of volunteers. The work was slow and careful, with many hands involved at every stage. foundation came from the remains of the old Mount Pleasant Baptist Church that burnt down earlier in the year. Park is the perfect place for this type of educational cob project. With over a million visitors per year, the building attracts a lot of attention, especially from children. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the UBC Earthquake Engineering Research Facility, the building of a half-size model of the Cobb structure was underway. The City of Vancouver Engineering Department and the UBC Civil Engineering Department were interested in testing Cobb to work towards the potential for building larger Cobb structures in the City of Vancouver. Our proposal is to apply the Landers earthquake uh, from Southern California. There's quite a destructive earthquake. Hopefully it will um, resist the Landers earthquake, which has an acceleration, peak ground acceleration, slightly higher than design level here in Vancouver. Uh, and then we're going to subject it to uh, destructive testing using a synthetic earthquake record that can be scaled upwards to uh, virtually um, any value of G, so in, in, in excess of 1G, which will be way and above what any building would experience here in Vancouver. Well, we were not able to run the, the earthquakes that we wanted because there is a problem with the hydraulics on the shake table, but even though the tests showing that when we move the table and, and those impacts that were generated are very, very severe impacts and usually those will destroy it, uh, uh, construction that is not properly done and as you can see the, the damage is very, very minimal, so, so that's satisfactory performance. It's about ten times the acceleration you'd expect in uh, Vancouver in a typical earthquake. Uh, and it's really behaved quite well. The equipment malfunction was fixed, and a couple of weeks later, the test was run again, this time successfully applying the 7.2 and 9.0 Richter scale earthquake simulations.
this is what we're building. Okay. Shaking the structure up to two G's of acceleration and seeing that the structure didn't collapse completely gives us reassurance that at least there is enough uh, leftover capacity in the structure to maintain its own weight and not collapse on top of people. Wow, it up. <laughs> this is the first time ever that, that a shake table test on that type, this type of structure is ever made. So, so we are just in the beginning of hopefully a series of tests and, and, and a, a more extensive research in understanding this type of construction. Back at Stanley Park, with a steady stream of volunteers, the walls continued to rise. All of the wood used in the construction was either reclaimed from old buildings or sustainably harvested. The grand opening saw the ceremonial passing of the first bags of popcorn through the serving window. In addition to the natural materials of clay, sand and straw, we've used reclaimed stone and wood to create this permanent addition to the landscape of Stanley Park. A team of youth from the Environmental Youth Alliance have partnered with hundreds of community volunteers and worked through the summer and into the fall to create this building. The results of earthquake testing will encourage builders and researchers from around the globe. Thousands of people have been exposed to sustainable building technology and future generations will continue to be inspired and intrigued by the Stanley Park Ecology Society's Cobb Popcorn Stand. All in all, a summer of great creative impact. <laughs> <laughs>